Okay, what we're going to be doing in this video is basically a simple uh, check-in process via Autodesk Inventor. Uh, so what we're going to do whenever we first open uh, Inventor up, we're going to come over here to this tab that says Vault, and we're going to hit lock er, Login. Now, I have to enter my password here. Uh, but it has my username. It has uh, that I'm running off a local host. If you're running off a network, the server information will be different. Uh, and then, of course, my vault information is right here, which is correct. And I'm going to check on automatically log in next session. Um, if you're sharing a computer or a workstation, this is not going to be what you want. Um, but since this is my own computer and nobody else uses it other than me, I'm going to just click automatically log in next session and hit OK. And now that we're logged in, you'll say here you'll see where it says log out over here, but that's all fine and dandy. I'm going to come in and open up some informations. Uh, this is something that I'm doing in my spare time, a uh, very long and drawn out process of modeling a 1911 but that's neither here nor there uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to open up one of our assembly models here okay now that we've got this bad boy open uh, over here you're getting to see where it says uh, oh crap hold on things have been moved in this area hasn't it oh damn it Okay, sorry about that. Um, I had I actually made a little bit of a uh, hiccup. I forgot to change up my uh, my projects. I was originally on a default. <clears throat> and what you have to do, you can't have any drawings open or models open in the background, but you have to go in, hit new, create a new vault project, uh, set it up the way you would want. Um, and now that I've done that. You'll see I have a vault uh, in this little drop down. So, what I'm going to do, I should still be signed in. Yes, I am. So, what I could do from here is check in the entire assembly. Now, is, uh, I can't drag that open any further. Now, as you can see here, I have a lot of errors. Now, it's not anything to uh, freak out about. Uh, mainly because it is uh, basically in a different path that is outside uh, what it should be since I've set up things a little bit differently. Uh, so basically all I did was move uh, the folder that I was originally working on uh, to the folder that it should be. And let's try it this way. Open up our file here. Go into Vault. Must be saved before I want. Er, yes, I'll save it. And this is all we have to go. Uh, I want to check in all these files. It's going to be under the 1911, uh, under 1911 disassembly, which is exactly what I want. Um, I'm not going to put any comments in. I'm not going to change any of my settings. I'm just going to hit OK. And what it's going to do is it's going to upload all my information to the vault. And as you can see over here, all of these are little white dots, which is what you want because they are all they are all available for checkout. If I open up my vault here and do a little refresh, so I can see it over here. You can see I now have a 1911 and a 1911 disassembly folder inside my vault. If I open up uh, this folder. I have all of my information that I need, uh, where it's used, how it's being used, and my preview. Um, so yeah, that's basically about all you need. Um, make sure all your files are in the right locations. Uh, for example, the reason why I had that hiccup, um, again, was because I had uh, this original file located on an external, well not an external drive, but a, a different drive that was not mapped to the vault. Uh, so all I did was drag that folder, well copy that folder over to my vault folder where my working file is set up and now I can go through, open up all of these and check them into the vault uh, at my heart's content and 
that's about all you have to do it's real simple once you get the hang of it um, you can go through check in check out things it is it, the vault is definitely something that you will want to look into it won't hurt you it actually does a lot of good for you uh, it keeps everything in check that way you can track it um, but for now if you guys have any questions or concerns uh, feel free to drop them in the comment box below um, I will get back to those questions as soon as I can uh, but for now I believe that is about all I have for you guys today <laughs>